Gait Physiotherapy in Cerebellar Ataxia. In this video, we will talk about gait training in patients with cerebellar ataxia. As in previous videos, we will start with the basics of gait training in these patients. We will perform a series of exercises in order to train static gait and then we will explain exercises for working a dynamic gait. In physiotherapy, when we train gait, we have to take into account that previously we have to make sure that there is a good maintenance of balance in standing position, that the postural reactions are adequate and that there are also adequate adjustments which are properly coordinated with the voluntary movements. In order to carry out a progression in the exercises, we will use a series of feedbacks that will enable or make more difficult the exercise. We will also introduce dual tasks, cognitive or motor. This will allow to automate the trained movements. Through tactile feedback, we perform lateral weight shifts. Next, we ask the patient to perform weight shifts from heel to toe. We will always carry out the exercises near a trellis or support surface in case it's needed. We can make the exercise more difficult by asking the patient to increase the movement of the heels, reducing the support base. We can train the main aspects of gait. Standing in front of the patient or sitting next to the patient's leg, we guide the movement from the ankle, highlighting the support face, heel, sole, takeoff, and the oscillatory face. Now we are going to perform the same exercise with a facilitating proprioceptive feedback using a TheraBand. And one way to make exercise more difficult is by modifying the support base. In this case, adding some mats causes a disturbance of the exercise. To train dynamic gait, we can ask the patient to walk in different directions, forward, backward, keeping in mind that it always has to be a safe practice for the patient. And then we can work sideways, crossing the legs, etc. We always have to take into account to ensure that where we are working is safe in the sense that the patient cannot hurt himself and if it is possible that he or she should walk near a wall. To facilitate gait, we can use weight ballasts or therabands to increase proprioceptive feedback. We can also work with changing gait direction. We will make walking more difficult using mats again, modifying the support surface. Last, we would like to comment that treadmill gait with partial weight support or without any support could also be very beneficial, according to scientific literature in terms of balance, speed and gait functionality, among others. Thank you for using this e-platform.